everybody, welcome to another video. Um, in this video we're going to be learning about get, get, uh, get service, find first child, and wait for child. Basically, you probably don't know, you, pro you probably think I sound different, and that's true, I do sound different, that's because I have a new, I have new headphones, I lost my others, and conveniently these things have a microphone. And I'm a lot louder, and I actually sound like a girl now I think about it, because it makes, it's, it gives me more, you know, like, you know, you get it, hopefully, it gives me, it shows my voice more, and my voice kind of sounds like a girl in real life, so you're, yeah, you know. Anyways, don't mind this dummy, we're gonna need him later. So go ahead and insert a part in the base plate and make sure that uh, output is enabled. Output is the thing right here, or the thing that has output somewhere. I don't know. The thing that says output under it. You get it. Guys, go back to home. Go to the part. Press the plus button here. Insert, ins insert a script. You probably did not see me insert it, that script because my my recording software, for whatever reason, does not uh, does not. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just messing around. For for some reason, my recording software does not show you does not show you anything else. It just shows you full screen. All right. Let's go ahead and type in local local part equal script out there. We're naming a part variable, defining it to be scripts parent. Define basically means you're telling it, telling what it what it means. So define means you're telling something what it means. Defining it, you're explaining it. Explain, I think. Yeah, I think. You're explaining what it means. Yeah, yeah, you know. So actually, no. Let's put this script in service script service just drag the script and put it into service script service and delete everything here service script service so let's name let's do get service first sorry about that All right, now that we have this, we're gonna use get service first, as we we need it. <sighs> we need to get service first. All right, we're gonna do get service first, I guess. So, local, local. Let's do local. Let me see. Test? No, no, not test. I don't. Local workspace equals game colon get service workspace. Now, basically, well, that means that we just define a variable called workspace. So you see, all of these things, except not the script, all of these things are called services, and they're actually they're in. You might be thinking, why can't we just do game dot workspace? Well, there is no difference, honestly. But get service does actually have a purpose and it is very useful. So we need a service. There's some services. All remember, all of these are service. Oh, oops, whoops. All of these are called services, and we actually have more services, but they're not in the Explorer tab. So sometimes we need we need get service to find a service named whatever. We need get service. So there's there's more services we just don't have them in the explorer tab. Like user input service, you don't know what that is. Uh tweenings tweening service basically you just make stuff move around. I hate tweening service, it is so complicated. For me, anyways, uh, 
we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about tweeting service. We should pro we're probably gonna run about lerp first because it is so much easier. You do not need to, you probably do need to know tweeting service, but I hate it. Don't don't you can learn it I, I guess, but I don't care. Just go to tap water for that. Honestly, I am probably never gonna gonna teach you guys a uh, tweeting service. I hate tweeting so bad. What well, kind of? Uh, get service, how about, oh, VR service, VR headsets, you know, uh, hmm. experiments, notification service, I don't know what that is, uh, test service, this one is old, it used to be in the explorer tab, got removed for some reason, I don't know why. I remember, I think, I, um, I, I remember seeing a video with it being in the service. You see, a y years ago, I was a noob at this, at Roblox Studio, but it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> so we have tech service. Oh, we have Teams. I, I didn't know Teams was a thing in the services, but whatever. Um timer service yeah there's tons of services in this uh but that's all for get service right now we're, we'll learn about it we'll learn about we will learn about we will talk about get service uh two of us two episodes from now and it's from now something called enum but you don't need to know what enum is basically but i'll teach you a little bit enum dot material that's that's it. I'm not teaching you anymore because that's not for this video. Now let's do wait for child. I mean get find first child. That's what I mean. Go back to the workspace, open the workspace, and put this put this put the script and service script ser put in the script the script and service ser script service whatever. Put it in back in the part, which is this right here. Or just delete the part in this insert, delete the script and service script service and put a new script in the part. But it's easier to just drag it in to the part. But doesn't matter. Just a little shortcut that I do sometimes. All right, get service off the list. Now let's do find first child. Um, right now we're actually gonna make it so we, the character, can actually can actually touch the part, not the base plate. Cause sometimes only the base plate will. I mean, some sometimes p other parts can touch parts, so that counts as it touching it. So I'll teach you how to make it so only if we touch it, the characters. Let's do it. Local part equals script dot parent. We're just creating a variable called script parent, and the script is in the part because we deleted this. We, we dragged the script that was in here to put here, or you can just, you know, you can just put the script in the part. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <sighs> if the part is not, if there is not a script in the part, then go ahead and create a new script. If you, if there's no part in this, if there's no script in the part, just go ahead and create a new script. But you know, get the, you get it, right? I think it doesn't matter. Okay, part dot touched. Create an event thing. Colon connect function. The uh, brackets. Create an anonymous function. Let's do. Let's put hit in here. We're gonna put hit in here. Uh. So yeah, we actually put something in this variable if we want to use. I mean, if we want to make it so something else touches it or whatever. Let's do local humanoid equals uh, equals hit the parent colon find for child humanoid. Let's first uh, let's first talk about hit. Basically, what hit does you can name this whatever you want, but I learned to do hit first. Uh, basically, what hit does it it literally just it puts it makes it so you can it puts it puts oh my gosh. It puts whatever touched the the part, whatever touched the part, into a into a variable called hit. This, so hit parent 
which would be uh, which would be our character adopt parent colon find first child humanoid with a capital H. You probably do not know what humanoid is. I will tell you. <laughs> Let me just tell you about humanoid first. Then find first child, alright? But uh, we have a rig right here. Go ahead and go to avatar. Rig click rig builder and avatar tab. Let's do block avatar. But I already have one. I already have a dummy open. Let's go ahead and look inside the children of this of this rig. Why is this open? Why is it open? Alright. Okay, whatever, sorry. Just messing around. Um, you will see a humanoid, a ch child named Humanoid in this rig. Just close that, <laughs> let me just close the humanoid up. Uh, you will see Humanoid in this rig. Humanoid. Yeah, you'll see humanoid. And basically, it it finds a child named humanoid. Finds a find for child named humanoid. If you don't have, however, let's say, let's say you have, you had, you do have a. You let's say you had something in. Uh, Oh, uh oh, whoopsies. Did not mean to do that. I think I just, yeah. Let's say you had a child named, you, you did have a child named Humanoid. Oh. Um, and it, but, but it wasn't from the, the rig. Well, you see, there's, <laughs> there's no reason to have a Humanoid. There's, there's usually no reason to have a humanoid in in something other than a character. It should be the rig, because humanoids go in uh go in rigs. Not anything else, usually. Unless you want a, a, hu a humanoid in the workspace or the the uh, the base plate for whatever reason. That's that's your but but he would usually put humanoids in characters. So, oh, yeah, I thought I thought my microphone was down for a second and up, put up. Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, local humanoid equals hit parent find for child humanoid. But let's say you could you could just put dot humanoid hit dot parent dot humanoid. Like, what's the difference? You might be asking. Well. Find first child scans through all the children and finds one named well this. Oh, and you need a capital H because you need a very specific name. You need to put in the correct name, or else it won't work. <coughs> uh, so yeah, but um, uh, but well, sorry, but I was talking about humanoids again. But y you. It scans through all the children and finds something that it has a name of whatever is in here, which is humanoid. Why is insert on the word insert on? Yes, I've yes, guys, I finally figured out uh, how to how to turn this this white box off. You just need to press insert or ins. It's it, it appears as ins in uh in in. You're in the keyboard, but it stands for insert. It means insert, right? Just click insert if the white box is there. I do not. There's the white box kind of sucks. I don't like it. But the white box, you know, the white box here, you know. So yeah. Uh, if but if 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 there's nothing in if there's nothing named humanoid in something in the rig then it just continues on with its day it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't care it it just it it doesn't error because it's it checks if there is something not it, it not it says it has something and we're putting and we're putting that into a variable hopefully you understand oh by the way random thing random note two random notes actually um 
if this is the first video you have been you have watched from me please watch my other beginner tutorials and my other tutorials you know please it, you you will honestly you you will be very confused trust me so yeah oh, oh, oh. sorry about that didn't mean to do that you will be very confused probably if you haven't watched my other videos you know okay just just watch my other videos if this is the first video you watched from me or else you'll probably be very, be very confused like i said before uh now we're going to use that variable let's do if humanoid wait what did i say the i didn't say the yeah, I didn't say this second random note. Whoopsies. Sorry about that. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean I forgot to say the second I forgot what the second random note was, but doesn't matter. If humanoid, then you know. You might think this is incorrect grammar, but no. It just it checks if it has if the if it has a humanoid in it. If if whatever touched it has a humanoid in it it hit up parent if it has a humanoid in it let me just oh freak uh, a freak uh i forgot to tell you what hit up parent means uh, sorry sorry so let's say let's say this dummy's right leg touched this part well then it'll go to the hit's parent and find the child name humanoid if you don't understand all any of this there's just Explain it in the comments. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be very fast. Uh, it's been 16 minutes. Seriously. Uh, thank goodness. Wait for child is so simple. Not that simple, actually. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's not that hard, actually. I mean, if human would then print a, a, he, a, a character ha ha has, has just touched the part. Let's check. As you can clearly see, the character, I mean, the base plate is touching the part, but it's not printing. But when I touch it myself, it does that. Oh, and when the dummy touches it, it I think it does that too. Yeah, it does it too. Nope. So yeah, uh, basically, if you don't understand anything that I'm trying to script, then just go to the comments and tell me what you don't understand. Oh yeah, the second random note was, if, if any, just tell me anything that you did not understand, anything, and I will try my best to uh, explain it better to you since I have more time to talk and... I make less mistakes so i have time to talk more time to talk you get it and if you're wondering why it's going off so many times that's because characters have so many children in them look at all of this all of this is touching that part so it's and since scripts run immediately you know and and there's so many parts that are touching i mean children that are touching the part and the animation makes it so the, it so it's kind of complicated the the animation makes it makes the limbs move so it does that you know as i said don't tell me anything you don't understand oh and scripts run immediately so you get it all right next next thing let's get rid of all of this except for local particle script dot parent let me just get close the rig and we're going to insert another script inside the part called let's call it script 2 script 2 name it script 2 local let's local particle script parent we're in the second script so we're in the second script of this if you have if there's only one script in here go ahead and insert as a second one because you need to the script to and name that script script to all right just double click on it or until until you know just click on it until 
until that happens. And then click on it again, and you will get the thing, and go to... You know, I'm not... You shouldn't understand. If you don't, just tell me again, okay? Well, now, we're going to do... We're going to wait five seconds. And then do local... Oh, highlight... Equals inst equals instance dot new highlight. If you don't know, if you don't, if you don't know what you probably don't know what a highlight is, which you will soon. Highlight dot parent equals part because it if you just put an instance somewhere, you will not know where to put where to put the part. You you will you will not you will not know where to it will not know where to put the instance. So you have to do highlight.parent equals part. Saying the parent of the highlight to part. <laughs> so let's let's play and test this out. Oops. And it will and it will give you the highlight after five seconds. Look at that. After five seconds it waited a little bit it waited it waited five seconds I think. A little bit. Uh, so after five seconds, it basically just <laughs> Gosh. It, it creates a the a thing a a, a a highlight. Now I'll go to the script. Go into the regular script. Do local highlight equals part colon wait for child highlight. Now, find, her, wait for child is is kind of like find first child, but it actually waits for a child named highlight. And this time, if it, there's nothing in the part named in, named highlight or something, whatever whatever you want it to wait for, then it will error because it's a wait for child. It's waiting for a child named whatever when this whatever is highlight. So you know. Because whatever you put in it is highlight. Also, for both of them, uh, find for child and wait for child, you put strings in 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 the thing, and make sure you. I spelled highlight wrong. Oopsies. Make sure you spell spell it exactly correct, even the capitals and the lower cases, whatever. Make sure you spell it exactly correct. I mean exact, you know. Or else, it, it, or else it will give you an error because scripting is very, very, uh, very, <laughs> very specific sometimes. Sometimes, you know. Yeah, it's very specific. So, you know. You know, highlight. Right. Now we have that highlight. We're going to wait eight seconds. And highlight colon destroy. Uh, I did not. I don't think I ta taught you guys about destroy yet, but it's very simple. It just destroys a part. It deletes a part. That's it. It just deletes highlight or whatever. <clears throat> so yeah, it just deletes highlight. Okay, so that's it. Uh, remember, you need the colon. The colon is this. Colon, the colon is this thing right here. You need the colon. Uh, and you need the colon to be after the the variable or part, whatever. Highlight colon destroy. So you don't you don't you sometimes need uh need variables, whatever. Sometimes need variables. Yeah. So highlight colon destroy. Um. Now let's see what happens. In, we're in the second script. Oh, by the way, one more thing. One more thing, guys. Uh, if you, if you, if you just put, uh, we just put part dot highlight. That will not work because scripts run immediately, and you have to wait for it to happen. If there's nothing, if you aren't waiting, for, if, if you put wait for child, uh, nothing, whatever. Then nothing will happen because it will, it will just wait forever for the thing, you know. All right. Now 
after five seconds it should do, put the highlight there yep now wait wait eight seconds three seconds yeah it, it, oh yeah it will wait eight seconds not three seconds because it waits five seconds for the thing so it's it's waiting 18 seconds actually 13 seconds please I suck at math actually I'm, not, I'm okay at math but you know that's wait for child covered next episode we are going to be learning about C frame basically C frame is the position but you'll be using C frame more cuz you know it's it, it has position and orientation which orientation is let me just go to the oh wait.